how they plead poverty, that they're losing money left and right when giving hundreds of millions of dollars to their CEOs. It is disgusting. SAG-AFTRA, the American labor union that represents about 160,000 film and television actors, among other public-facing professionals, are going on strike, joining writers who are already on strike for the first joint labor action in 63 years. So in this video, I will break down what they're fighting for. I will get to this incredible speech by Fran Drescher, the president of uh, the union, and I'll also get to one quick immediate impact of this strike, which uh, was kind of interesting. First here, they made this announcement on Twitter. A SAG after TV theatrical streaming strike has been ordered effective July 14th at 12.01 a.m. And I'll link to this below in case you want their full uh, press release. Let me get to this speech. This speech is just, it's so good. What happens here is important because what's happening to us is happening across all fields of labor by means of when employers make Wall Street and greed their priority and they forget about the essential contributors that make the machine run. We are being victimized by a very greedy entity. I am shocked by the way the people that we have been in business with are treating us. I cannot believe it, quite frankly, how far apart we are on so many things, how they plead poverty, that they're losing money left and right when giving hundreds of millions of dollars to their CEOs. It is disgusting. Shame on them. They stand on the wrong side of history at this very moment. We stand in solidarity, in unprecedented unity. Our union and our sister unions and the unions around the world are standing by us as well as other labor unions. Because at some point, the jig is up. You cannot keep being dwindled and marginalized and disrespected and dishonored. The entire business model has been changed by streaming, digital, AI, this is a moment of history that is a moment of truth. If we don't stand tall right now, we are all going to be in trouble. We are all going to be in jeopardy of being replaced by machines and big business. Who cares more about Wall Street than you and your family? Most of Americans don't have more than $500. In, a, in an emergency, this is a very big deal, and it weighed heavy on us. But at some point, you have to say, no, we're not going to take this anymore. You people are crazy. We are labor, and we stand tall, and we demand respect. And to be honored for our contribution, you share the wealth, because you cannot exist without us. Thank you. I'm just blown away at how fantastic that speech is. And that applause went on for a bit longer, of course. Fran Drescher doing an incredible job here communicating the importance of this fight. And you can see the passion there. Let me show you an example. So because app... The studios, the CEOs are going to try and paint this as, oh, these greedy Hollywood actors are trying to take it all. Meanwhile, these are billionaires at the top of these companies. But even apart from that, these actors are fighting for all the actors, including background actors. So this is, I saw this, and this is just mind-blowing, what these CEOs, what they're trying to get these actors to agree to. From a discussing film here, the studio's AI proposal to SAG-AFTRA included scanning a background actor's likeness for one day's worth of pay and using their likeness forever in any form without any payer consent. So 
this is a fight for everyone, for all of these actors. To try and screw over background actors like this, it, it's it's really showing you how far the greed has has become. And for these CEOs, for these massive billion dollar studios to try and pretend that, oh, we just can't afford it. Meanwhile, these executives are taking in billions of dollars. There, I can't imagine anyone's going to be on the side of the CEOs unless you've been fooled by, you know, conservative propaganda that is trying to um, argue their points. But what the actors are fighting for here. So they're calling for increased pay as well as progress on residuals paid for when films or shows are shown again, particularly on streaming services. They join 11,000 members of the Writers Guild of America who have been on strike for two months. And I've covered that story as well. If you want to, more on that, you can search up on my channel and you'll find more on the uh, the Writers Guild strike. But this is one of the interesting immediate impacts of the strike. Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer cast exits premiere in solidarity with SAG after strike. So this premiere in London, they left the red carpet when they got word that the strike was going down. And uh, to Christopher Nolan's credit, he uh, spoke out in support of them. It's hard to hear what he's saying in this speech. There's another, a second speech he'll do that I'll show a clip of. But um, they're right here. Christopher Nolan just confirmed the cast of Oppenheimer left the UK premiere due to the strike. And uh, let me show you a clip of this speech. Uh, I, If there's copyright on this, I don't think there is. This is off someone's phone. But in case I can't use this, I'll have to cut it out. I'll link to a blow regardless. But here's a bit of what he said. It's just him saying they left, and he's speaking up in support. An impending uh, SAG strike. Uh, they'll be going out along with uh, one of my guilds, the Writers Guild, who's been on strike for a couple of months, uh, fighting for fair pay for working actors. All right, so that was uh, the second premiere of Oppenheimer, and he gave essentially the same speech as the first premiere, and just discussing there how these writers or these actors left and how his guild, the Writers Guild, um, are, of course, uh, part of joining them in that in that joint strike. Now, last thing here, just, just on Nolan, because I thought, I thought this is interesting. He, I, I don't know much about Christopher Nolan's politics, but I've heard, I don't know, I've heard things. <laughs> but um, Brendan Hodge is here saying people try to knock Nolan's perceived politics, but he spoke as pro-union in 2017. He was one of the few major writer-directors to join the WGA picket and just use an Oppenheimer premiere to support the SAG strike. More filmmakers should be leveraging their platform like this. So good on Christopher Nolan here. And uh, yeah, support with these actors. So this is really good. This is really good to see. I, I hope these studios, I mean come to their senses <laughs> because these writers and actors deserve everything they are fighting for.